been out shooting all day, check out the uh, Petapixel article in the link below. Um, this is uh, actually what it looks like. The author of this article is a photographer, looks like a fashion slash model photographer. He uh, is giving you a lot of uh, image samples from his Nikon D610. He said he was about to give up on uh, Nikon, except he was taking the same lenses and dropping them on his new Nikon D850, which were not having the same highlight flare issue. What it actually is, he's actually debating whether it's the, uh, the sensor or the lens, and of course he eliminated out the lens. If you take a look at his image samples, what the issue is, and he says, well, it uh, must be the sensor. My Nikon D600 also has the same issue as my Nikon D610. What it is is the D600 and the D610 were famous for a fault for uh, spitting micro droplets of oil from the shutter mech when the actual Teflon coated shutter blades and the mechanism that operates them spitting micro drops of oil on the uh, cover glass of the sensor and even if you were to clean the sensor, uh, oil is hard to remove. I don't know if you ever got like a spray of like cooking grease on your glasses, for example. You can sit there and actually uh, rinse off your glasses and uh, they'll still have uh, grease on them. What this is, it's, uh, it's uh, oil that's smeared on the cover glass over the sensor. He's, uh, he's blaming uh, the sensor. He just doesn't know. He says he's not a techno nerd, but if uh, I suggest you look at uh, the uh, link below, what this is is oil over the cover glass of the sensor. All your images will look fine. By the way, this looks exactly like what uh, lens um, haze is, which is exactly the same thing, by the way. You know, people like leave an old lens in a hot place the grease that actually sits in the helicoil will uh, atomize and then it will like particularize kind of like a dew on your windshield early in the morning it will particleize on the lens and all your images will look fine until whoa until you like go to shoot partially into the sun or you see some really bright strong uh, highlights and then all of a sudden you go what the crap is this so uh, let the photographer know, since I've got no way of contacting him, that uh, his issue is oil on the sensor. And if he says that he uh, cleaned the sensor, which he probably has, let him know that uh, when you actually have uh, oil on the cover glass, as the Nikon D600 and D610 were uh, somewhat famous for, and Nikon knew this, this is why they discontinued the D600, and then the D610 had the exact same issue. <laughs> then they discontinued the D610 and Nikon was like, fixed it, no more oil. Literally the shutter mech was <laughs> spitting uh, fine drops of oil on the cover glass. Nothing ever touches the sensor. You actually have an IR pass filter and uh, depending on the sensor and the camera, then you have cover glass. Nothing ever is touching the sensor. You have no way of touching the sensor unless you tear the camera frigging apart and remove the cover glass and remove the IR pass filter. And then there's still another layer of glass directly over the sensor. <laughs> no one's ever touching the sensor. Um, so the sensor actually output is fine on his camera. And uh, he gives you a lot of image examples of these misty, um, blown, they look like blown highlights, but they're not blown highlights. What they are is, uh, it's called, uh, he's calling it flare, but what it's actually is, it's bloom. It's called highlight bloom uh, due to um, oil. And this can occur two different ways. The F up, the screw up, the horrible fuck up of Nikon with their D600, D610, and the other type, which is extremely common, is when someone buys an old lens and they take some normal shots indoors or outdoors, like, this lens is fine. And then they shoot into the sun and they go, oh damn, what is this horrible white milk? It looks like, I call it milk, because that's exactly what it looks like. Your images look like your highlight had milk poured on them, just the highlights are blooming all over the place. So anyway, take a look at the link below. Um, the mystery is solved by me, because I've seen this crap before. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like. So, now you know. Next time you see something like that, and Nikon D600, D610 are not the only cameras that have uh, had issues with uh, uh, oil being spit 
onto the cover glass of the sensor. The only problem with that is, it's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to clean the sensor. I'll take care of it. No, 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 no. The first time you clean the sensor, you're smearing it. You're like wiping half of it off, but it's still there. So you got to wipe your, you got to clean your sensor again with a new paddle. And then again, it's the same thing that happens when you get like a cooking grease on your glasses when you're cooking and you know, the little particles of oil splatter on your glasses. You got to clean your glasses twice and three times until they're actually clean. So mystery solved. This is like nerdy stuff about cameras that uh, more than you wanted to know. But anyway, that's the answer to uh, the mystery this guy's having.